Hello and welcome to Tech Baffle. How's your day today? Let me know in the comment section. Not jungle, junk. So go ahead, make a cup of tea, have a biscuit. So over time your computer can slow down a bit, it's just not that great really when you're waiting ages for programs to load, for Windows to start up and everything's just not quite as good as when you first bought your computer. So I'm going to show you how you can speed up things and just make things a little bit more smoother when you're using your PC. If you don't want to miss out on the next video, ding that bell icon, it's really cool, it notifies you of the next video so go ahead and do that. For more tech goodness don't forget to follow me at TechBaffle, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat. So. The program I'm going to be using today is Advanced System Care. Now, it has a free version and a pro version. You can decide which one you have. So let's go ahead and start it up. So, as you can see, this has a little miserable looking face. It's telling me that I haven't cleaned up the computer recently and not been optimised for 10 days. So I have waited a bit of time. I've allowed my computer just to collect loads of rubbish over 10 days. So I can make this tutorial, the, the, the sacrifices I make. On the interface, it's really simple to use. I like this little scan animation, but we'll get to that in a minute. So let's go through all the features. So first of all, startup optimization which optimizes startup items to shorten PC boot time. Next up, registry clean, which cleans up registry to improve PC performance. Next up, registry defrag, compacts and optimizes registry to increase PC performance. Privacy sweep, erases your activity history and surfing traces. Spyware removal, removes spyware and other security threats. Security reinforce reinforces the security of your system weaknesses to prevent hacking. Jungle, not jungle, junk. Clean up junk files to recover disk space. Internet boost, test and accelerate your internet speed. Vulnerability fix, scan and fix win Windows vulnerabilities. Shortcut fix, scans and fixes invalid shortcuts. System optimization optimizes and repairs system configuration and then finally disk optimization optimizes your hard disk to improve PC performance so before I get started for me personally it's all depending on what you do so privacy suite basically does it's a good idea what it does it erases your history uh, in your web browser and personally I like to go back it's probably not a really good habit really I should just be using more bookmarks and that sort of thing but you get the idea I'd rather just go back to my history and remember <laughs> what websites I used so that's why I'm unticking that option, but you can go ahead and tick that if you if you want to completely sweep up your computer and make sure that it's not a privacy th threat. That's a difficult thing to say. So let's go ahead and scan. So it will just go through all the different options on the left hand side. As you can see, there's like a percentage and it counts up what it's doing on the left here. So I'll be back in a moment. So go ahead, make a cup of tea, have a biscuit, do what you want to do, but we'll be right back. If you want it to automatically repair what it's scanned, then you can tick automatically fix. 95, 96, 99, 100%, hooray! So, it has found 602 items, wow. So, startup items, there's one of those it's found. And you can see if you click on the left, it'll give you more details of what it's found. So we'll go through it all, junk files, it's got all these things that has appeared. 168 megabytes of junk files. Invalid shortcuts, 26, so all of these things are invalid shortcuts. Registry entries, it's found 233 registry entries that need to be repaired. Spyware threats, we're all good, hooray! Internet improvements, 24, so there's 24 things that you can do to optimise the internet speed. System optimizations, two things. Registry fragments, four items. System weaknesses, it's found six items, which are vulnerabilities in Windows 10. Security holes, no problem. And then disk optimizations, again, no problem. So, we have found 602 items, 168.6 megabytes which is 332 junk files, 264 items that need to be optimised to improve PC performance, and then finally 6 security problems to fix and secure the PC. So let's go ahead and click fix, and it will go through everything. So it's finished, we've scanned through, found some problems and repaired them all. So that's brilliant, let's go ahead and click finish.
On speed up it gives us a few more steps to speed up our computer. So first of all is turbo boost. You can click configure and what it does you've got three different modes. You can have work mode, game mode and economy mode. So basically what it does is say if you're running a game and it uses lots of processes then it disables things in the background that you don't need whilst you're playing that game. Also work mode it helps disable anything from the opposite side of the view, so if you've got anything running in your game which you don't need if you're doing work so you can disable that whilst you're doing your work and you won't get distracted which is also a really good thing finally economy mode is just for minimal power consumption so if you want to save your battery life in your laptop then that's a good idea so we'll try game mode and we'll click on system services so what it do it give you option to disable certain services on each different one it, it suggests different services to disable but you can go ahead and configure it yourself if you don't want to so let's go back to work mode so system services it disables these two things but on game mode it disables these four things and finally economy mode disables these three things these are system services and then you've got window non-windows services background apps and then however settings so what we're on we're on game mode weren't we yes so system services what do we need when we're playing the game do we need bluetooth now bluetooth if you're using bluetooth headphones i've got wired headphones but if you've got bluetooth headphones you don't want to disable that but i don't need that because i'm not using bluetooth headphones so i'm good disable diagnostics tracking servers i'm going to be completely clear that i have absolutely no idea what that is so i'm just going to leave it alone if you're not sure whatever anything is just leave it alone Disable keyboard hotkeys, so I don't think we want to do that. Disable download maps manager. Windows services for downloaded maps. We don't need maps, do we, for games? Oh, you need a map in your game, but it's nothing to do with that. Disable phone service, which manages the telephony state on the device. We don't need a phone service on this. So, we've optimised anything that we don't need for system services. Non-Windows services. This will be unique to what you've got in your computer, so it won't be exactly the same as what I've got. But say Adobe Updates, no I don't need that whilst I'm playing a game. AMD External Events Utility, I think that's for my old graphics card, so I don't actually need that. I should be uninstalling it instead, but that's a different story. <laughs> Apple Mobile Device, no we don't need that. Bonjour Service, no. Folder Size, that's the thing I've done in a previous tutorial which shows you the folder sizes in Windows Explorer all at once instead of having to click them one by one iPod service we don't need that Norton security will leave that on because a lot of games are connected and I wouldn't recommend ever disabling your antivirus or internet security even if it speeds up your computer just don't it's stupid Nvidia local system I won't disable any of these because this is my graphics card at the moment and then finally driver care I'll leave that on as well because I don't want any drivers going wrong so background apps Security Health, we'll leave that on. iTunes Helper, no. Microsoft OneDrive, that's basically, well, you know, Wonder, it's basically cloud storage for Windows. Uh, should I disable that for games? Yeah, I don't need OneDrive for games. And then finally, WS Update Helper, some sort of update for is that some sort of program. Again, I'm not sure what that is, so I'll leave that alone. And then finally, other services activate advanced system care, power plan to boost system performance we'll go ahead and do that and then turn on pc boot at windows startup we won't do that because we just want this mode for games we don't want to do power boot we don't want turbo boost all the time otherwise it might stop us from doing what we want to do so what it's doing now is turning turbo boost on so it's stopped 22 services and apps and it's released a gigantic 978 megabytes of ram which is almost a gigabyte of ram that's crazy secondly we've got hardware accelerate which you can manage drivers with driver booster to speed up your computer i'll skip that for now but if you want to update your drivers you can go ahead and do that deep optimization is two options to be optimized to speed up your system let's go ahead and click details so it's telling us that we need to optimize the visual effect of windows menus to list to boost pc performance and speed up the response of front end programs so let's go ahead and optimize that so that's sorted should give us a yep it says optimize and then finally app and toolbar cleaner so what this does is you know the things that you download programs like especially free programs and it gives you a toolbar it gives you 
rubbish basically we don't want that so let's go ahead and click check now so some of these you might want but some of these you might not want so do we need to create pdfs no do we well, we do need to create PDFs, but not in our web browser as such. We can save them in their own without that sort of thing. So you can go through all these different toolbars and disable any that you don't want. But what this will do, it will actually remove the toolbars. So make sure you definitely don't want them before you have them. But I haven't got any of this. I don't actually use any of this anyway. So I'm going to hit yes. So there we go. We've removed all unwanted plugins from the browser. So sorted, we are all sorted, it hasn't updated, but we basically have done what it says. So yes, not only have we cleaned and optimized the computer, we've also helped speed it up. There's plenty more to this software, it's basically like a giant toolbox full of all the tools you need to speed up your computer. But this is all a different video altogether, I can go on forever with all this sort of stuff, there is so much here. Also, you have to bear in mind that a lot of these are separate programs, so you may need to download other things on your computer first. So yay, we have a smiling face. It's telling us good. Your PC is running at its top performance. Please keep this habit to scan your PC every day to keep it clean, fast and secure. That is brilliant news. So we have sped up our computer with advanced system care. So if you want to download the free or the pro version, I've put both links in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button. If you want more of this sort of thing, don't forget to subscribe and ding that bell icon. For more tech goodness, don't forget to follow me at Tech Baffle. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. For all the information you need, head over to techbaffle.com. Yeah.